right, GCF stands for greatest common factor. And greatest common factor is the largest factor that a pair of numbers has in common. So if we were talking about the numbers 10 and 8, okay, I could list all the factors of 10, which are 1, 2, 5, and 10. And I can list the factors of 8, which are 1, 2, 4, and 8, and find the largest factor that they have in common. That is one way that I can find the greatest common factor. But another way that I can find the greatest common factor is to do the upside down ladder method. It's kind of like the birthday cake prime factorization, only you don't have to use prime numbers and it's uh, upside down. So um, let me show you with 10 and 8, even though uh, these aren't really the best examples to use, but um, 10 and 8 because it's pretty easy. Um, a common factor of 10 and 8 is 2. 2 goes into 10 5 times, 2 goes into 8 4 times. And since there's no other common factor of 5 and 4, we're not going to use 1, um, but there's no other common factor of 5 and 4, I know that I am done and everything that's on the left, which in this case is just a 2, is the greatest common factor. So let me give you some bigger numbers, because um, this is when it really works well is with larger numbers, small numbers like 8 and 10, you know. It's not such a big deal to list the factors, but um, let's say I gave you 80 and 44, okay? A common factor of 80 and 44 is 2. 2 goes into 80 40 times. 2 goes into 44 22 times. 40 and 22 both have a common factor. Um, I'm going to go with 2. 2 goes into 40 20 times. 2 goes into 22 11 times. Now, there is no other common factor of 20 and 11, so I know that I am done. Now, the trick here, though, is if you have two numbers on the side like I do here, the greatest common factor is the two numbers multiplied by each other. So the greatest common factor here is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, let me show you another example. Let's do um, 74 and 86, okay? Um, 2 goes into 74 37 times. 2 goes into 86 43 times. There is no other common factor of 74 and 86, so that means that 2 is the greatest common factor. Let me give you one more. Let's do uh, 96 and 48. Okay, 2 goes into 96 and 48, it's a common factor, uh, goes into 96 48 times, it goes into 48 24 times, uh, 2 is a common factor of 48 and 24, 2 goes into 48 24 times, and it goes into 24 12 times. Well now I see, oh, 12 is a common factor of 24 and 48. 12 goes into 24 two times, 12 goes into 12 one time. So I'm done because there's no other common factor of two and one besides one. So the greatest common factor is all of this on the side multiplied by each other. So two times two times 12, two times two is four, four times 12 is 48. If you wanted, if you started with a different way, so what my numbers, 96 and 48. So let's say that I started with um, 4, okay? 4 goes into 96 24 times. 4 goes into 48 12 times. Um, common factor of 24 and 12 is 6. 6 goes into 24 4 times. 6 goes into 12 2 times. Common factor of 4 and 2 is 2. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 goes into 2 1 time. Again, there's no common factor besides 1 of 2 and 1. So the greatest common factor is all this on the side. Now, these are different numbers. 4, 6, and 2 are different numbers on the side than 2, 2, and 12. But when I multiply them, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. Both ways, I get 48 as the greatest common factor of 96 and 48. So just as a reminder, anytime you have more than one number here on the side, you multiply them together to get the greatest common factor.